picking of that little spot right there. Wish me no picking of my chicken. Mm, the first training. Orange glasses probably don't help. Don't you just want to pull that so bad? Uh, I mean, I guess. It will come off when it's ready. It will come off when it's ready. I was like, tell myself. It will come off. It will come off when it's ready. It's day, what, four? And I think I told you last night that I felt like I was going to peel and yeah. I hope you can see that. Maybe if I do that. I thought for sure this was going to be uh, the place that I peeled first and um, I guess just because you're moving your mouth so much you start to like... Uh, it's so weird. Anyway, I've got peeling here. I've got peeling here. I've got peeling. I don't know if you can see that. I could probably pull down around my nose and get um, sheets started. Hopefully when I watch this back you'll be able to see that. Um, I have like this just looks disgusting like It looks like a snake shedding skin, literally. Like, it's it's just, looks like my skin is like 90 years old right there. No offense to anybody in any manner. Hopefully you can see over here. Oh, look at over here. It's like, it's just gross. It's, it's definitely just going to start coming off in... I don't know how many sections, but it's definitely time for it to start peeling, which is, I think, normal for it to start peeling on about uh, day four, day five. Don't mind my awesome headband. I had to keep all the hair out of my face. It's like, if I go like, want to start scratching, I touch my head, and I'm like, oh, I remember. I can't. I can't peel my face. Like, if you if you have a hard time when you get zits and you want to pick them, like these pieces of skin laying here, to some people it's just like, oh, I should pull it off, pull it off. You don't want to. You do not want to pull it. I've got, like, this looks just straight up weird. That's going to be a serious start of a shed. But this face situation, I don't know how often I can do this. I just don't know. It's like, um, I don't know. Uh, even like right, I got really close to my lips. You know, when I did my application, I can feel sandpaper all the way around my lips. And the strange thing is, um, when I did under my eyes, I can feel, um, like the edge of that almost where it stops and um it's not like you know when you get crusties in your eyes I don't have crusties in my eyes but I must have done this 30 40 times today it's just like peeling there in the corners where I resurfaced also um my eyebrows feel fine here I can feel the texture but when I go like that, if a little piece falls off, then it gets done in here, and then I want to do that again. Um, up on top of my eyebrows feels like absolute sandpaper. It's like my eyebrows. <laughs> There's no way I could put makeup on them today. They don't even, they don't even want to move. And like where I worked on that, um, I'm going to see if I can uh, zoom you in. See, like right there, that piece, yeah, looks like, um, looks like a <laughs> snake, and all this is like the same, it's just a big, giant piece of crust, all the way up to my, underneath my neck, again, chin's starting to go, 
so probably I'll go uh, starting down under my nose, probably gonna go out this way. Snake skin, let's see that. Snake skin. It's uh, in my forehead, even though it doesn't look like that bad, it feels like sandpaper. I wanna see. You see that? <laughs> Anyway, this is like a about headshot up. Still gross. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom back out. But I saw people on YouTube doing um, TCA pill on their lips. Have you guys seen that? Uh -uh. I don't know if I could do that or not. But save up my money and do lip injections. I think. Mm. Um, I do feel like uh, it's getting rid of a lot of the, um, it'll do good in the wrinkle areas and, uh, you know, like the little fine lines around the lips. Um, I feel like it's going to do good here. Uh, I feel like, you know, I did good getting it as close to my eyes and crow's feet there. Still have one teeny little know which side is on freckle and so I'm thinking that even though you know I, I don't know we'll have to see how this um, turns out I don't know let me put my glasses on because I am so blind um does that help the situation <laughs> I wanted you to see it without I mean come on it's like totally different ball game if I if I try to cheat and put my glasses on especially today so I'm not cheating I just literally cannot see there's no way I'm putting contacts in my eyes today with all these little pieces of skin floating down into my eyes they would last for like maybe um 10 minutes I've even got little pieces of skin like on my jacket and on my um makeup counter and <laughs> uh, you cannot pick your skin when this happens or you will damage it and cause yourself scarring which is what you're trying to avoid and um, it has to run its course you put acid on your face somewhat down the chin here neck or barely down the neck and even right here, it itches pretty bad where it touched my neck. My neck is, I think I told you, my most sensitive part of my body. Um, my chest feels a little rough today. Like, it's it's not um, sore, and it doesn't bother me sleeping, but it's just itchy. So I imagine it's trying to do its healing thing as well. I think this is totally going to be worth it. But this is why I don't know how people do this all the time. I know people that have done so many of these and I just don't know if it's the strength that they use that only takes, you know, a shorter time. But like, I mean, as little as I did, I'm still got these things hanging off my chin. So I don't know. You know, like, and that's the thing, you really got to know for everybody is different. You know, you might have hyperpigmentation in different areas, and I know that certain areas of the face are more sensitive. Um, I felt like some people I know will not even go on their upper lip, so that could potentially be a really sensitive area. I know for me, the chin can get kind of tender. Uh, and for sure, oh, like I said, I buffered so that you couldn't really tell where I started or stopped on my neck, and I'm glad I did that, but like down in here, or at least with the previous product that I used, my neck was like not having it. But once I get through this face situation, I might go for the neck like I did on the chest, just, you know, put it on, it starts getting red, wash it off and see what that does. I might. But you know, you, you're always taking a chance of uneven pigmentation. So I don't, I don't know if it's worth it or not. 
I'm very happy with the strategy I used on my face though. But I do know that when I did this the one time before, I saw really great results in the end, but I feel like when I ended up with like a really, really deep peel, and yes, I say peel, <laughs> my husband always laughs at me when I say that word because of my accent, but the one that I have, the bottle says deep peel. Um, I think that I had a 30 and I, I must have just gone at it full strength two or three or four times. Yeah, so you can imagine and you know a lot of, I know a lot of plastic surgeons won't even really do a whole lot with over 50. I've seen a hundred in dramatic cases but they're like very specialized and they do it for very specific reasons and very, very specific, only specific spots and blah 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 blah. Uh, the fact that you can buy that just freaks me out and um, I would never want to influence anyone to do something that would cause injury to their face. I'm only trying to help those of us that have certain issues like this that can be treated at home under the right circumstances and uh, that's kind of where I am on day four. All right so that's it for day four. I'll be back tomorrow and hopefully we'll have some peeled places. Hopefully we'll have some peeled places. Hopefully we are at that point. I'll let you know tomorrow. All right I love you guys. See you on day five. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it.